I'm Judge Andrew Napolitano, and the verdict is coming on President Barack Obama's historic plan to overhaul and regulate our financial institutions. Here's the question. What is left out of this proposal is, and what we deserve to know is, who will regulate the Federal Reserve? What will become of clauses in the Constitution that prohibit the very type of regulation the president wants? And what is now the meaning of the word free in free market? Here are the facts. Right. Well, the, uh, the bias of the drafters of this proposal the is that the government knows best. Uh, the Constitution should not be an obstacle to the egalitarian goals of the government, and no private behavior Everybody is beyond the government's reach Everybody. of its huge hand. The essence of the proposal is to give the Federal Reserve the authority to regulate any aspect of any firms that in its discretion, its sole discretion, could adversely affect the economy if they fail. The Fed would thus be the only unregulated private entity on the planet. This private, super secret bank, half of whose board is appointed by the president, is the most secret aspect in all of the government. Think about it. The job of the CIA is to steal and to keep secrets. But we know more about the CIA than we do the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is a private, completely unregulated bank into which the Obama administration proposes to repose all regulatory authority from the compensation of executives to the investments companies make to the location of their franchises. Are you ready for this? To the amount of fat in McDonald's cheeseburgers without appeal and without stating reasons for the regulations. All grouped investments, even if the investors own the group, like hedge funds, like you and your neighbors getting together to buy a house, will be subject to the Fed's new rules. All state chartered banks will now be subject to the Fed. All businesses, whether financial in nature or not, that are owned by any financial institutions shall be subject to the Fed even mom and pop shops and stores, if, in the Fed's opinion, could fail and thus produce systemic harm to the economy, shall be subject to the rule of the Fed. The Fed shall have the authority to require lawyers and accountants to report data to the Fed that even the IRS presently lacks. There appears to be no limit to the private human behavior that the Fed will not be able to find a way to regulate under this proposal. If you want to hear more of opinions such as these, take a look at my new book, Dred Scott's Revenge, A Legal History of Race and Freedom in America, available in bookstores nationwide. You can also tune into my nationally syndicated radio show, Brian and the Judge, every weekday from 9 a.m. to noon Eastern, and to my online program, Freedom Watch, every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern, on foxnews.com. And don't forget, you can always catch me right here on the Fox News Channel and on the Fox Business Network throughout the day, every day. I'm Judge Andrew Napolitano, and that's my verdict.